Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll present methods used to sweep component parameters. We'll start with a simple network and sweep a capacitor. Then we'll plot the swept data, including a 3D graph. We'll illustrate the concept of nested sweeps using a harmonic balance simulation. We'll discuss the development of user measurements and review plots of nested sweeps. Sweeping parameter values is a common and necessary element of any modern simulation tool. It provides the means to evaluate and quantify how parameter values affect the performance and response of our design. In Genesis, any tunable parameter may be swept. We'll start with a simple example of an LC network. Here you see an inductor and a capacitor, and it's terminated on both input and output, and the output is terminated in 10 ohms, and how we did that was just to uh, select 10 ohms for the Z sub O of that port. We could make that complex if we wish. We'll select OK, and now we will do a sweep of one or more of the parameters. So to start with, we come up to the workspace tree, and we'll select evaluations, because that is where the sweep is uh, found. We'll add a sweep, and it gives us an error message saying that we need to have some parameters to sweep. OK, let's make the capacitor the one we'll sweep and I'll click the tune box, press OK, you notice the color changes and we'll try to add a sweep now. Oh, we get another error because we have to have a simulation to sweep. So I'll start from analysis, add linear simulation and we'll just take the default values for this example. Start at 100, 1000, 101 points. So we have completed a simulation. So let's go to the output node click right click on that and we'll generate a graph of S21. And here you see from a hundred to a thousand the graph of S21. We're also going to generate S11. I'll right click on the input port and select S11 and here we have both. I've rearranged the graphs and the schematic so it's a little easier to view. Let's sweep our capacitor. We'll select evaluations, add sweep, Here's the name, the analysis to sweep will be the linear analysis, and then the parameter to sweep will be the uh, capacitor. That's the only variable that we have that's tunable. And we can select an output data set. We can also add some descriptive information about this uh, simulation. And then we'll select the parameter range, that is uh, what's the min and max for our capacitor sweep. We'll go from 1 picofarad to 50. And then for the type of sweep, we're going to select linear step size. That is one peak of farad per step. That gives us 50 sweeps for 50 different values. Press OK. We'll right click on the uh, sweep icon, run simulation, and just that quickly we've swept uh, 50 times. Let me uh, double click on the graph here, and we're going to add another data set here, a sweep data, and we'll add the same measurement, S11. But this is data that comes out of the swept data set, which are 50 sweeps, as you see here. We'll do the same thing for S21. In this case, I'll select the data from the sweep data set. Again, the measurement S21, press OK. And here you see all 50 sweeps uh, displayed simultaneously. And we note that uh, we have a pretty good match for 10 nanohenries, right around 400 uh, megahertz. Let me show you another interesting way that we can represent the data. If I right click on port 1 and we'll add another plot of S11 and I'll rearrange this, the uh, diagram here and we're going to change from rectangular to 3D and instead of the linear data set we're going to take the data from the swept data set. Notice now we have three axes uh, to plot. Press OK and here we have a 3D representation of S11 as a function both of capacitance here along the z-axis and frequency along the x-axis and we can see the response in the y-axis. So this gives us another um, way to look at our data that's very helpful. Here we show you an example of a nested sweep on a harmonic balance simulation. This is a power amplifier and if I double click on the input port, this port 1, we notice that we have two components, frequency and power, and they have both been made tunable, as you see here. So those are the two parameters we're going to sweep. So how we sweep those two parameters, uh, first of all, here you see our harmonic balance simulation, 
and the harmonic balance data set. Let's click on sweep one. We see that it uh, sweeps, or the analysis it performs, is on harmonic balance. In this case, we're going to sweep frequency. We're going to start at 1200 megahertz, go up to 2600 megahertz, and we also uh, step in 10 megahertz steps. I draw your attention to the box at the bo lower bottom here, propagate all variables. That enables us to propagate uh, the entire data set to the next sweep because it is a nested sweep and we need to access the data from sweep number two. So let's look at sweep number two. Double click on that. And you notice the analysis that we sweep is not harmonic balance, but sweep one. This is what makes it nested. And the parameter we're going to sweep in this case is the power, PAC. We'll start at 0 dBm, we'll go up to 15, and we'll uh, introduce a linear step size of 1 dB. And I'll press OK to close the box. And what I'm going to do is resize this so you can see the plot. And here's an output uh, power versus frequency. The simulation has already been done, obviously, uh, from 1200 to 2600 megahertz, and then step to 10 megahertz. Now, here's the sweep and the uh, variable called P out. I'll show you where P out came from later. But let's change that to sweep two data set, that is the sweep of a sweep. Okay, now we can see the result of sweeping both frequency and power. As we increase power, you notice how the, um, the uh, output power flattens out uh, near saturation over that frequency range. What I'm going to do is show you another method of presenting this data in 3D format. And here we see a graph of, of uh, power uh, versus output power versus input power, as well as the frequency on the x-axis. And if we go along the top of the ridge, uh, you might be familiar with the kind of shape that you might expect for power roll-off or 1 dB compression point uh, measurement. Now let me show you um, another way. Here we show the uh, outline of frequency. Let me show you another way to represent some of the data, such as P out. Okay, that was gain. This is output power. And here again, we're showing on the uh, z-axis the input power from 0 to 15 dB, and then uh, frequency from 1200 to 2600. And here we can see the output power. Uh, this represents this uh, shell here, uh, saturation here at the very top. So it's a very useful way to, uh, to look at uh, our sweep data uh, for output power and gain. Now I said I would explain what P out was before. If we go to the harmonic balance data set, you'll see three variables here, P gain, P in, and P out. Those are not variables that uh, occur in Genesis. I generated those. I'll double click on that and I'll show you here. We define P out as port power at frequency 2 at port 2. And likewise for P in, we'll define that as the port power at frequency 2 at port 1. So what does the frequency index uh, relate to? How do, you, how do you determine that? We'll go to the frequency variable. You notice it has an index of 1 to 6. One representing VC, two representing the fundamental, the rest uh, represent the harmonics. So we're only interested in the fundamental power in, power out. Here we look at power gain. It's defined basically as the ratio of P out to P in. So that's where we came up with these uh, values that we've used. So in summary, sweeping circuit parameters is a necessary and useful tool to determine the effect that component parameters have on our designs. I thank you for watching.